Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Uh, what is your shadow work, your shadow side for Aries? You could apply this to any of your placements if you want. Uh, this is for February uh, 2022. So, so your shadow work basically involves, you know, getting in touch with a part of yourself that you have repressed, okay? Part of yourself that you don't acknowledge. We all have a shadow side that we're not proud of. We're going to see what that is, uh, what that shadow work is, and how you could best manage it. Apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what applies, leave the rest behind. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this leave a comment down in the comment sec uh, section below uh, if this message resonates and for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me the link is in the description box below all right, uh, Aries, we're going to pull some Oracle and then we'll get into the tarot, okay? All right, what do we have for Aries here? Uh, keep in mind that it could be shadow work that you know someone's going through, okay? Friend, family member, an ex, partner, all right? What messages do we have for Aries regarding their shadow side, their shadow work? What is Aries' the shadow work? Shadow side here. What do they need to work on? How they can how can they best manage it? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs. Any placement here for Aries. See the bigger picture, okay? And on the bottom, uh, so Sagittarius energy. You might have Sagittarius in your chart. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius in and around you, and then be proud of yourself, okay? Last quarter moon in Taurus. All right. I feel like, you know, uh, Aries, I feel like you've come really far. Oh, shoot. I feel like you have been, I, I feel like you have been working on your shadow side here, okay? And I feel like you're still continuing to do it. Uh, what else do we have for Aries here regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? Um, for February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs. Any placements here regarding Aries' of shadow work, shadow side. Action. Yeah, I feel like you're, I, I feel like you're still working on it. So, you know, that's what shadow work is. You're constantly working on yourself here, you know? Like I said, it's a part of ourselves that we repress, that we don't acknowledge. It's a part of ourselves that we don't, we're not really proud of, we don't acknowledge, okay? Uh, we have the world on the bottom of the deck here. So in a way, I feel like you are seeing things in the bigger picture here. I feel like, you know, you're constantly learning something new about yourself every single day as you go through this journey here. All right, what else do we have for Aries? Regarding their shadow work, their shadow side. Soothing impatience. There is nothing to do but wait. You know, I feel like, you know, I mean, Sagittarius, that's a very impatient energy. Polar opposite of Taurus, because Taurus is a very patient energy. So I feel like you're learning to be patient too. You're just going with the process here. You know, you're just not rushing things, transforming tragedy. Loss is a reminder that more room has been made for greater gifts to be uh, received. So I feel like you're basically um, making lemonades a, a lemonade out, out of lemons basically turning something bad into something good here what else do we have for aries regarding their shadow work and their shadow side sun moon rising venus and jupiter signs what else does aries need to know oh. 
health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So there is this energy of definitely taking care of yourself here, Aries. Self-esteem, I, I possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others. So in a way, I feel like you're inspiring others to do the same. Okay, let's grab another one here from the Shadow or shadow Work Oracle deck here. All right, preju prejudice. What if you were categorized in a group and given attributes that were false without truly knowing who you are? So I feel like you're trying to figure out who you are first before you pass judgment on others. Because a lot of the times when you pass judgment on others, it's a reflection of your inner world, okay? Should I grab a runes? Yeah, why not? What else do we have for Aries here regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? Anzus. Okay, a, a revealing message or insight, communication. You know, I feel like this is more so getting connected to the divine, your angels and your guides and the universe and stuff like that to help you navigate through the shadow work journey. Jara, the results of the earlier efforts are realized. Yeah, so I feel like what you're putting, the effort that you're putting into your own work to your own self-growth and your evolution here, I feel like it's paying off. Yeah, because hopes and, and expect expectations of peace and prosperity. So this is for yourself and others around you. What else do we have for Aries here regarding their shadow work and their shadow side? For February 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, any placements here for Aries. Ten of Cups, look at that. Aries, this is looking really, really good. I mean, you are pursuing your happiness right now. You're getting out of a period. You're definitely getting out of this dark night of the soul energy. I feel like you've been working on it super, super, super hard. You know, like I said, your hard work is paying off here. You have the Ten of Cups and the Chariot. Cancer energy could be dealing with the Cancer here. In or around you, past or present. Um, you could have cancer in your chart. All right, we have the hangman and the three of wands. Okay, you're definitely, definitely taking a step back. You're definitely surrendering and not controlling, um, you know, the outcome here. You're just sort of going with it and at the same time, enjoying the process too. Could be dealing with the Pisces here. You might have Pisces in your chart. You have the three of wands. So I feel like you're making plans here, okay? So I feel like you're leaving behind a lot of stress and anxiety and depression here, okay? Let's see what else we have here. The moon. The four of pentacles here. Cancer, Pisces energy, lots of water energy here. So Aries, you might have a lot of water, water energy in your chart here, okay? So I, I'm feeling like, you know, there's a sense of hope here. Because I feel like you're really tuning into your intuition, okay? I feel like you're really tuning in to the divine, your guides, and your angels to help you on this path, okay? And I feel like you're starting to see things very clearly here, Aries, okay? Um, you know, I'm getting an energy of sort of like playing the victim in the past. So I feel like you're getting out of that, okay? You're really taking control here. Uh, Ten of Cups. 
Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini uh, in and around you, past, present, or future. Um, I, I really feel like you're just pursuing your happiness. I feel like you are rushing towards it. But at the same time, you know, even though that Knight of Swords is a really fast energy, you know, would be proud of yourself that uh, Taurus energy. I feel like you're trying to be methodical about it too and not rush, okay? I feel like you're not taking any shortcuts here. Uh, Chariot and the Two of Swords. So I feel like more so with the Two of Swords here, you're just making decisive decisions here, okay? You're no longer in this in-between, being unsure. I feel like you're just pushing forward. Hangman. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. That looks really good. I mean, I feel like a lot of, a lot of opportunities are opening up for you. I feel like... You know, I feel like there were a lot of blocks that were keeping you from prosperity, uh, from uh, um, from your peace, okay? Uh, three of Wands. With the Eight of Wands. Things are moving along pretty well for you. I would say pretty smoothly. Like in a way, like I said, it's methodical, but it's moving... Pretty swiftly too, I would say. And like I said, you're getting a lot of messages, a lot of downloads. So I feel like your crown chakra throughout this whole experience, maybe even all your chakras are starting to open up. The moon. And the eight of swords. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Four of pentacles. In a fool. Yeah, I feel like you're breaking free of this mental prison. You're definitely in this fool's energy. Basically, going on this journey and just sort of going with it and, you know, letting it take wherever you have to be, okay? And I feel like you are in a very good spot right now. Even though you don't know where you're going, you're, you're going somewhere, okay? You are going somewhere here. Knight of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Swords. I really feel like you're overcoming a lot of disappointments here. A lot of regret, you know, overcoming some regret, disappointment from your past here. Things that were out of co your control in the past. I feel like you're coming to terms with that. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, maybe stuff from your childhood that you're letting go here, that you're healing from. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. More water energy here. Lots of water energy, Aries. I mean, I feel like some of you guys might be intuitives here too. All right, let's see what else we have here. Eight of Wands. I feel like throughout this experience, you become maybe more softer. Maybe more in tune with your emotions, your intuition here. Eight of Wands. Strength. Yeah, I feel like your intuition through this experience has really strengthened too. Okay? Like I said, I feel like you're really connected right now with yourself, with energies around you too. Uh, Leo energy with the Strength card. Why is the Eight of Swords here? With the two of pentacles, okay? Tell me about the fool. Yeah, you're definitely breaking free out of this mental prison that you've been in, out of this illusion that you've been in here. And I feel like you're making a decisive decision. I feel like you're in this energy of having what it takes to basically heal some disappointment that you've been in from, you know, the time you were born up until now. Yeah, I feel like you're doing really, really, really well, okay? So, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
I will speak to you guys in the next one.